last night we made it to about here. We're gonna end up somewhere oh up there God. tonight. I personally do not care if you are good or evil. If you exist, I would love to be able to hear you. Under the ground. Under, Under the ground, Oh dude. my God. Come on. Are you serious? The Wait. demonic forest is afraid of wow. the woman on the trail? That was the most real entity, apparition, figure, I don't even know what to call it, I've ever seen in my entire life. It is believed that extinguishing the final candle opens an overwhelmingly powerful portal. Devil, demonic, I'm beneath the ground, open the portal. It really feels like we are speaking to the forest itself. Found something. Oh, are you okay? Oh. It could be a Japanese version of a skinwalker, an elemental, you're right. I didn't think we would run into that. Like someone's putting their foot in the back and trying to snap like spine. The devil is calling. No way. Right after that ground. The, the moment I said demonic, something just passed by right behind you. That was on camera. That was absolutely insane. What the f*** is that? That is not a shadow. I saw them laying sideways like this. Well played. I challenged you. You won. And moments later, clear ribbon. I see someone over there. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is now night two for us at Akigahara Forest, otherwise known as S Forest. If you haven't seen our night one episodes, we really highly recommend that you watch it because everything that's happening tonight is a continuation of the investigation that we had. The eight rough hours that we had here of just non-stop activity beyond non -stop. the paranormal evidence, thermal images, SLS activity, the Panasonic recording, the real human encounter we had last night. Too many things coincided. It, it, that it coincided with the human encounter too. Mm -hmm. it's, wow. And even that box, which was specifically built for this trip for Japan, was just giving us non-stop demonic answers. Right. And, and now I want to bring it back out tonight and see if it's a continuation and try and push a little bit harder for answers. We feel as though last night we just got the corner pieces and some edge pieces to this jigsaw puzzle that is this forest. We made it three kilometers in last night and it actually led us, strangely, <laughs> just behind the line in which you are not supposed to visit on the common trail. That is exactly where we have to walk to right off the bat. That is also where we will be bringing this out, which is a 400 year old Japanese summoning ritual. Because I think we need to actually show what we're <laughs> dealing with here. <laughs> Evan has all of our sleeping bags on him right now. <laughs> Can you show everything I have on me? Yeah. yeah, I have the helmet, all the poles, and the other fun fact is we're all sleeping here tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm coming back tomorrow by myself. Yeah. I'm gonna drop you all off at the train station tomorrow, I'm and I'm excited. coming back tomorrow as well now. <laughs> Should we head in? Yeah. yeah. Again, if you haven't watched last night's videos from our investigation here, please watch those first. I think it'll help explain a lot of things, and you'll see that we really care about the investigation that's being done here tonight. You know when you like someone's gonna pull a prank on you, just everything just feels a little too quiet. Oh no! You know, I just like it, it gives me that feeling right now. There's no one here yeah, tonight. Yeah, there's not a single Except car here. For us. Portal. Portal. Just, you even said this thing doesn't seed along. along. Trade. Trade. It's going crazy right now. <laughs> we haven't even walked in yet. Let's go. All right. I love too that we're basically all using new tools that we didn't yeah. use last night. This yeah. is the only one on repeat right now. Hello again. Kigahara Forest. First time ovulus has ever been used in the forest. Let's see what happens. And it started with portal. The portal of all words. Products. 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 Dollar. Products. Rose. Line. line. Attack. Attack. That was so rapid. It's coming in like bursts. So last night, we did, we went from here we are red dot, right? Yeah. So I think we went, that's the split. Yes, you're right. And then that's, and then the, that's, and that's, the, the, that's the trail. That's where we went down. That's the trail that. So we're going further into that where it stops. Yeah, so last night we made it to about here and I think we're gonna end up somewhere. Oh my God. Up there tonight. We're gonna end up on a letter? I think we're gonna end up pretty far away. Uh, konnichiwa, ohayo kazaimasu. My name is Corbin. I came here last night. 
and you guys gave us a lot of communication and we're just here to learn more about you and hopefully find out why you came here. Hi, gozaimasu. My name is Jerry. I was also here last night. Thank you guys so much for having us and we're here back today to chat with you more, to learn more about you, to let you know that we're here to actually learn about you, not just a a one-time thing. I want you to know that we're here with the utmost respect, not here to disrespect in any way, and hopefully get to connect with you again. Hello, my name is Ginger. I was also here last night for the first time. We learned a lot from you. We still have a lot of questions all with respect hoping to speak to some of you again or to speak to somebody new tonight hi again this is now my third time here across seven years and we are really hoping to better understand this location to see what it is that does call to so many people to come here see if maybe there's a way you can give us an answer as to why and with the highest hope maybe we can figure out how to get it to stop mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. if we know what it is then maybe there's something you can like do true yeah. like yeah. if you know what it is maybe there's a counteractive or a white medicine like how maybe there's something you can leave at the sign mm. you know like hey take this fault with you I'm not sure but we're here willing speak to listen communicate with communicated through us whatever it is that's in here I personally do not care if you are good or evil I do if you exist I would love to be able to hear you and spread your message whatever it may be Friendly. Friendly? I got friendly. Buddha. Whoa. Friendly Buddha? What are the no. odds? That's what? okay. Wait. We're gonna we're gonna go way we're gonna go way off kilter here. Oh, oh, no. Way yeah. off kilter here, because this is something that happened today. Two hours. This is something no, this is something that happened at the gas station yeah. like six hours ago. And then on the drive here I made a joke about this. I've never seen Buddha on the Ovilus. Whoa. I'm gonna what? insert a video. We're gonna <laughs> Blur it. <laughs> We're gonna blur the end of it. But I rubbed a Buddha statue today. So I was told that it's respectful and for good luck to rub Buddha's belly. And you're supposed to do them if you see all of them. Rub all of them. And then, uh. Yeah. And I literally made a joke about how by rubbing that Buddha statue, I'm gonna like reverse all of our luck. <laughs> That's Two. wild. You. You rubbed there two. was two Buddha bellies that you rubbed. Two, yeah, that's, it's a stretch, that's but that's really, weird. really weird. Yeah, that's insane. I've never heard Buddha not, ever. Yeah, that, not on that yeah. thing, no. And um, anyone who knows the ovulus, this thing was built way before like cell service. Like there is nothing in an ovulus that has any form of connection or GPS or anything. Jesus. Wow. That's bizarre, which does make me remember. What? We opened the ritual last night. Yes. It hasn't been closed. Mm. Oh, we, we didn't, didn't close, close it. it. No, because we're not supposed to close it until we leave Japan. Oh, sh**. You can only do it once a year. So we opened it and to keep that connection built. That's it. Once we closed it, it would, it would shut it down for tonight too. Which, yeah. what in that ritual it says, it'll stay with you. Mm. So, <laughs> so it was with us the whole time. Right on cue. Right it on was with us the entire time. Oh my god. Right on cue on the K2. Oh my god. Wow. So it's still with us now. All right, that's, I, I'm not in? trying to be like, make a stretch of this. No, it's not, that's <laughs> not even close to being a stretch. Buddha? If you remember us from last night, we believe there was an entity or a few that were following us through the forest. If you show yourself, can you please do the signal we talked about last night? Question harmonic. harmonic. I don't like how like, comfortable I feel in here now. Like last night was just a pit in your stomach. That's, yeah. But that's exactly what I'm saying. 
I think I think only because we know this area. I think once I we know. get to the 3K though. But but that's what I don't like. What'd you hear? Oh my god. He keeps hearing it. It was like a growl. Nobody heard that one? Yeah. That's anxiety. but that's exactly what I'm saying. I think I think only because we know this area. I think once I we know. get to the 3K though. But it's like over here. I, I just, if I keep hearing it, that's gonna be weird. But like I was saying, Elton, it is like too, it's almost too quiet. Yeah. So the fact that we, I feel like we all feel more comfortable in here. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, like if that makes us more open, right? Because yeah. we're more willing, we're more comfortable, it knows us. It's interesting, there's another path right there I didn't even see last night. Yeah, there's a whole other path. Our first sign. Oh yeah, that's our own tape. Yep. Corner. Modern. We just passed the corner. Corner as in fork in the road. Where we started to. It's a new corner. Corner and modern. Going this way, we're gonna go towards the road. Yeah. Let me let me see. Let me just go this way. I haven't gotten anything in the SLS yet. Maybe turn the corner. So let me just turn the corner, the modern corner. Cause nothing has popped up yet on this. Yeah, what is it? What, uh, what color is it? Yeah, I just want to see that. Again, red, green, red, green. Yeah, it's active. Nope, went dead again. Also, might be going the wrong way. Maybe something right here. I hate that I'm like staring so heavily at the SLS screen that I'm like yeah. not looking in the real world. I have thermal behind you in case anything is around. Nothing here and it ends right here. Okay. Yeah, it's quite active here though. Okay, I'll come back. Nothing on this. Decided. Hey. Hey, I got hey. Hey. Hi. Hello. Konnichiwa. Here we go. Now I'm starting to get little, Getting more access. little tiny just figures are popping up here and there. there we go. They're disappearing very quickly. You know, as we get deeper, it's going to get more and more. Uh, active, I think. I feel like we never, no one's ever really had a genuine conversation with the spirits, you know? What are you talking about? Like, no one's ever had a genuine conversation? Yeah, you yeah. come in here and you just say hey and then what? Reed. Oh, these spirits. I thought Reed. No one goes, read oh, the stories. Today. Have you seen one video? <gasps> You're right. You guys, it said read, and that's exactly what we're going to do with our ritual right now. Is read. read the stories. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> hey, read. Hey, read. <laughs> Almost like sit and listen. So maybe they're yeah, boys. because last yeah. night, right, last night it knew the ritual we were going to do. Right. It like, the K2 first went off on your left hand. It almost yeah. like knew everything that was going to happen. Yeah. And then everything started spiking. So if the forest is listening, it's like, hey, read. Yeah, maybe I like portal. that idea. It wants to. Wasn't the first thing it's it said portal? Yes. Portal, first and now it's saying portal. friendly, Buddha, hey, read. I think it, it does us want to do us this. to like, well, we're going to get to that place. Really so. get connected with them, you know? Or, you know, we unleash everything that's in here all at once inside of the circle that we're in. All right. Hey, how about we stop talking? I mean, that's also plausibly like what it's saying. I'm gonna go with my theory. I think your theory is wrong. Friendly and happy. Nope. Well, not to, not to jinx it, but uh, I feel great right now, physically. Mm -hmm. Polar opposite of last night. Excel. Wait. Excel. So Excel. Excel. There we go. Again, we're starting to get little, as we go deeper, More just tiny little figures popping up. Oh, here we go. It's red right now. 
Your show, Evan. Again, more? Yeah, as we go in deeper. Wow. Yep. Just as you said, it can't see from the roof. Oh, yeah. Bomb. Bomb. What? Sorry. What do you see? Heard. Hmm? Heard something. I think I just saw something like rip across the screen right now. Which way did it rip? Oh, I did. That's crazy. Right here, right in front of you. Yeah, I saw the whole screen go white. And then just for a second, like right, literally right in front of us, I just saw a massive figure on the yeah. ground. Yeah, I saw that too. But I swear, I just saw the whole screen go completely white. Heard. Hmm? Heard something. I think I just saw something like rip across the screen right now. Which way did it rip? Oh, I did. That's crazy. Right here, right in front of you. Yeah, I saw the whole screen go white. And then just for a second, like right, literally right in front of us, I just saw a massive figure on the yeah. ground. Yeah, I saw that too. But I swear, I just saw the whole screen go completely white. Did you just cross this path? Can you cross in front of us again? We need to cover the fact that we established in case we don't watch night two. It's weird, what I was about to say is uh, that we need to establish that last night we figured out to the best of our ability that language, like we, language it can be mm. transcended by spirits. Yeah. Because yeah. we got like remarkable evidence up top. Yeah. So anyone who didn't see that video, you're probably like, why are you speaking English in Japan? They can't understand you. We found out last night, like concretely, they can. And now this is spiking again. All about intention. And I do wonder if we do a better job of that tonight, if we're gonna get better answers. Right. If there happens to be a lost soul in this forest, wandering. Everything's all red. Where? Everything. And it's not stopping. Can you please show us where you are? Wow. This has not happened the entire time throughout this. Is that normal? No. No. If we know where you are. It's not changed. Huh? Just that direction. What's up with this? I don't know. This entire time I've been on this like this, and it's just. Why is this all so hot? It looks like a little path right there. You can walk along it. If you show us where you are, I think it might make it easier for both of us to be able to have a conversation. This is where we ran into our friend last night. Another path right here. There's the ribbon and the There's bottle. There's the ribbon. The bottle's still there? The bottle's still right here. Wow. It's so bizarre because just blank spaces of the ground are mapping out entities. This in the ground. Like just purely, like no branches, no logs, no anything that would give it like a false reading. Just the ground keeps mapping out. We're above caves and just in general last night, everything from that portal was saying it's like the forest itself, you know? Yeah. Cause when Evan and I were off alone, we got like closer than you think and beneath you when we were asking like, where is this message coming from? Oh, K2 is going off right here. Oh. Now. Last night we had this device on and you were able to talk to us through it. 
apologize that we turned it off. We just wanted to try different ways. Oh. <laughs> all the way red, all the way red, all the way red. Here's you. So this is the best one for you. We will leave it on for the night. Wow. Well, that's a hard yes. Okay, leave it on for the whole night. Yeah, because we turned it off. We never yeah. said we just wanted to keep trying everything. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Okay, we'll leave this device on for the rest of the night. Anything you want to say, please feel free. I have to guess. Yeah, I mean, that's... Let us know. They mean you harm. They mean you harm? As we're getting deeper. Is that what it said? Yeah, they mean you harm as we're getting deeper into the forest. And everything we were getting on the portal. Yeah, we're already starting negative, off. Negative, negative. Starting off negative the already. Sign is literally and where right K2's there. going. Yeah. The sign is right there. This is where we this is where we turn right into you know the forest. Yeah. Smoke. Smoke. And I dude, I'm not kidding, I saw a huge like white pane go in front of the SLS earlier. I, I saw the whole screen go white. Not like white like an arrow, like yeah. a boom across it. Holy cow. And candles. Mm. Blow yes, candle, that's right. Smoke. We did have candles. First thing it says after it acknowledges that it knows how to use it is they mean you harm. And this is where all the negative energy started. The threats. Yeah, it was right here. Oh boy. Okay. Right, the K2 is going to really tell us about the age. I'm 26. I am 33. I'm 28. I'm 33. I'm 35. Oh. How old are you? How old is the energy that's here? Definition. Mm. Okay. Define how old. Maybe they don't know. Yeah. Age? They, they don't know their age. Time. Do you, do you have a construct of time? Or have you just always existed? Demonic. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, it's happening again. Right dude. as everything turns red. Dude, that's... Your screen is fully red. It's all red. I mean, Evan, is that not just perfectly on par with everything we talked about last night? Yep. Everything we talked about was like, how old is it? How old are you? What is this? Where'd you come from? Mm -hmm. Age, we defined it. Do you have an age or you... Hear my voice. Oh. oh Demonic. That? It is just... Oh, it's it's always existed. It is de like... It it's is not time. It is not age. It's, it's just... It is... The are you going to say something to us? Energy. Yeah. Maybe we should stand in silence and listen to the voice. K2. It's constant. Evan can't see it if he has. So now I really don't think that was broken. The portal that was on last night, everything was negative, demonic, and I was just like, maybe it's just... Now it's overlapping, broken, or whatever. The devices are doing the same thing. We didn't get demonic on no. there. And it's answering us, by the way. I mean, that was age, definition. I mean, that was answer, answer, answer. We do hear your voice. Oh. You Need help. Need help. Oh. Wait. That is That is the most spiking we've gotten tonight. Do you need help becoming more powerful? You've just said you're demonic. You know about the portal that we're going to be opening. Or it could be, you know, how we go to places, there's demonic spirits and they pretend like, oh, I need help. Mm. Can you save me? And when it's That's actually how sucked in, yeah, manipulative. It's a trap. It's not manipulative. I mean, it's straight up saying, I'm demonic, I need help. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Could be that too. I don't think it's trying to hide anything. <laughs> At least from this box, it was not trying to hide at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have the ground mapping out entities. You have the entire forest turning red. Right. We have this answering us directly. Yep. We have an obelisk talking about things that the forest could not know about no. unless 
it was connected to us. Oh my God. Could never have known. You're on the dot. I mean, like we can't, I mean, that's... <laughs> Mine's been it's interestingly the, silent. Wow. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it might prefer yeah, the spear talker. I'm gonna leave it off a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Can you physically talk to us? Can you do something to get our attention? Yeah, the second I turned it back on, it mapped something. Again, mapping more and more and more. Under the ground. Under the ground, dude. Oh my god. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? How many times did you say it? As we're talking about the caves. Under the ground, I've been yep. mapping the ground, the yep. cave system, wow. demonic, the ma Mount Fuji itself, like all of it. All right. Do you, do you need help being released from the ground? A portal would do exactly that. A portal is a direct connection. Right. Above and below, but if it's demonic, it's below. On that tree. That's what it needs help with, yeah, releasing what's it. under the ground. Up to your right. Yeah. Yep. It's more and more have been popping up, like to the point where this is. Oh, I just kind of expect it. I'm getting now. a signature on that. Really? You are, you are. What temperature? Whoa. Look Significantly hotter. What's going on? K2 going on. Oh my goodness. As we get deeper it's and just deeper. It's the forest. It's in the tree. It's under the ground. Huh. No way. What? what? None of you heard that? I heard it. What was it? What did you hear? Yeah. You heard that? You did. Holy sh. Yeah. Is it loud, loud? Like Wait, stereotypical, I'm... like big cat. Yeah. Bro. Let's cool. We both heard that. Yeah. Let's be quiet. Let's be quiet. direction that way behind us like I would say like yeah, exactly the direction you're just pointed like that way yeah keep in like that direction stereotypical arrest Dude, that was bizarre that was like cartoonish yeah wait didn't someone just ask to like let us hear you like, I, I did. That was literally your question, right? Yes. And we just heard a, a... Like a huge growl. There's no big cats here. There's bears and deer. I don't think there's big cats in the entire country. No. Let us know that you're here again. Dude, it just growled at us. I mean, it, it, like, I don't... You straight up asked it to, like... Mm -hmm. Speak to us yeah. out loud, and we hear a, 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 a an roar, actual roar, roar, the growl. The fact that even Evan took a few steps back. No, he heard it. You heard it. G going off, I mean, just thinking. Any shapeshifter, any elemental, any anything. I I don't know. There, so I can really pull up my notes because I have them all saved. I don't. I can't straight up off memory it's recall, but we can we can look it up or hopefully we'll get an answer and then it'll match up later. But I can't, I don't have service, like pull it right now. But I, I have screenshots of my notes, but I don't think I covered elementals. But you're right, I mean, there could be a, a Japanese Why version. Why are you here? It could be a Japanese version of a skinwalker, an elemental, you're right. Like, I don't know what that'd be called here. Why I didn't we... think we would run into that. Why are we here? Should we? Maybe we should answer that. Maybe when we get to the spot where we're gonna do the ritual. Maybe I there's think they different know that we're here. here. But why would they ask why we're here? Answer honestly. Don't answer honestly. Take take the paranormal investigation element out of it. Answer honestly why you're here. Remember we talked about speak with like conviction, with empathy, with emotion. Why are you like actually think about your, your question? Oh, we're talking about why did you fly all the way to Japan, drive all the way here? do this, even though it makes us all uncomfortable, answer that. If I think, I feel like if we each answer that, that might be extremely beneficial. We've gone, yeah, talk to us, paranormal evidence, but like, right. why are you here? I'm here because for the last few years, and my actual first visit here was for fun. 
it seemed entertaining. Oh. Is that the same thing? The object is to communicate. Okay. I came here seven years ago as someone just looking for various thrills, interesting things to do. I did not come mm -hmm. here with, with any intention. The K2 is going off. I didn't come here with any intention to understand this place or anything that lies in the realms I can't see. So I'm here because I truly want to find some form of additional evidence to what we found over the years to understand Skull. our purpose in life. Skull. It is going off. Our Skull. purpose in life and, and why we're here and what lies beyond or what lies before. That's why I'm here. And whether it is evil or positive, it makes no difference to me because proof is proof. That's why I'm here. Going crazy. Crazy. My light is completely dead. Whoa, but that was fully charged. Look, it just went down. I know we charged them all. I already went down to one bar from four. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, 100%. Look, you can see my one little dot. What's yours at, Jerry? Do you have going on? Still at four. Oh, mine's at two. What? Look at mine's all, at two. They're all charged. They're all charged. They were all on four before we left. How was mine at two already? Four? Is this four or one? Yours is also on one. One? Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, preserve that battery. Oh, no. <laughs> these are, I think these are 24 hour battery life. We even made a point to charge these. Yeah, these are 24 hour battery life. I mean, they were all literally charging in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. All today. All yeah, today. All, they're all plugged in for eight hours. Sure. Well, I'm gonna reintroduce you. <laughs> I'm Ginger, and the devil is calling. No way. Right after that growl. <laughs> they ask why you're here, and the devil is calling. This is, I'm so glad we put this back on. Just as a test from last night to tonight. Last night was a little chaotic. We've established who we are, why we're here. I mean, every answer right now is making sense. Every single answer is exactly tied into last night, which makes me think, Last night I was kind of confused and maybe I thought I was reaching. Yeah. And now it feels like everything last night was like exactly what it was. Right. Like it wasn't, nothing was misconstrued, nothing was broken. Every Everything is what it was last night. It's and all lining up. It's intelligent too. And it's not hiding it either. No. It's not even like playing, <clears throat> it's not no. like, no. oh, come find me. I'm a little kid. It's straight up devil, demonic. I'm beneath the ground. Open the portal. Hey, do your job. Like it's, it is. Powerful. Sorry, Ginger. All you. It's hearing you. It's hearing you. K2's going off. Wow. It's hearing I can go before if you want. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because there's been many, many souls, lost souls, that have come here. Oh, what's up? That was so cool, and what it just, was on camera. What just happened? That was on camera, that was absolutely insane. What, did you what catch? just happened? What was it? A full-blown white smoke apparition. I just, made that sound. I made that sound. I, ha I have it on this, I 100% have it on this. Go ahead. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because there's been many, many souls, lost souls, that have come here, oh, what's up? No, just like I made oh. that sound. We're talking about this sound how many times? Oh. The devil's calling, everything. It's all just coming right to a point. It makes perfect sense. 100% just got a white apparition like to appear directly in front of me. I, I 1,000, have it on this. yeah, I'm actually gonna cut this and now I know where that is. Perfect. Video save, beautiful, love it. 100,000%, I just have that. What? 100, one, it, I mean like stereotypical, Female, cut out, ghost shaped figure, head, shoulders, arms, all the way down. You're safe yeah. here. <sighs> Could it be a so good thing? you think being? that was a good apparition that you saw? Maybe, maybe there is some light. Maybe some, something's trying to protect us. I'm really confused. It's possible. I mean, look how many people have come here. I mean, this is not, it cannot all be bad. Think about the EVP. So, I was, I was, exactly, so 
<laughs> so hard with the headphones. Silence. So, mm -hmm. so yesterday, when we had all that happen with the bench, that was all positive. And then all of a sudden it became dark. Mm -hmm. Now that all of a sudden we're having all this dark, positive's coming back to counteract that. And, and we know there was something positive here because it said what you said was beautiful. So something appreciated that. And we started with friendly Buddha, harmony, but now it's, now it's turning. What, did you see it with your eyes or was it no, just- I, I, No, I saw it both. I mean, this is this is a, this is straight up an iPhone that has like like IR What did you, what did you see with your eyes? Like actually? No, I hundred percent saw that. Like that was exactly what I'm describing. Gargoyle. I, gargoyle. A guardian. A gargoyle. Yeah, guardian. A guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. That would be like the you know the the clearest explanation of a gargoyle. Is that yeah. the first time you've seen something like that? I've never. Uh, yeah. I've never first seen. time I've ever seen anything like that. Other people have like seen it. I remember Corey saw it. But yeah. you. In at the bridge. Eyeballs. No, I, I've never seen anything like that. It's a face. Field. Field, okay. No, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen like... Yeah, you're right. Corey's the only seen. one that's actually seen it before. Mm -hmm. Seen. See? Field so and seen. With you. You've seen it. It said I, seen right as we were talking about this. It's amazing because I think it, the energy that, that this place gives, right? There is a guardian here that is trying to protect, trying to hopefully change that. Yeah. It seems like, yeah. right? The deeper we go, the more negative, the more demonic it gets. But it seems like there is someone, something mm -hmm. here that is trying to help balance that, I guess. Yeah. Well, think about it. Think about like, you know, us being here. We're like, we're, we're, we're in right terms of ratio wise, there's not always ghost hunters. A lot of the people that come in here are coming in to right. do something. Right. You gotcha. realize that I addressed my intentions and I got the devil is calling and then you addressed your positive intentions and you got something positive. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't finish like, either. It's definitely like answering us. We'll keep going then. And yeah. then Ginger, did you ever finish? No, I, didn't. I didn't. Okay. Where did you finish, yeah. Corbin? No, I, I started with Go Lost Soul. Go to oh, my. oh my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I just can't believe how perfect everything's all yeah, do, do you remember Devil's Door? The abandoned hospital? Oh, yeah. We got like six in a row, and we were like, this is crazy. I mean, this is 20, 20 in, a in a row. row. Oh, my goodness. And like ever since it's been turned on, 20 in a row. By the way, K2 has still been just spiking to orange to red constantly. Whoever that was that was right in front of us, I hope that you're a positive spirit. And we are here. The reason why I'm here is hopefully to find some positivity and talk to the lost souls and why, why they're here. Is there anything that can change? I'm here to communicate. The reason I got on the plane, came to Japan, I was given the opportunity to visit your home, visit this place that's very well known. Skeleton. Skeleton? Skeleton and could never turn down an opportunity, not only to learn, but potentially communicate and always just have the greater good and positivity in mind. And after last night, I'm back because I realized that maybe, maybe there is some good to be had. Maybe there is a way we can help you and maybe it's not all bad out here. It's not just a place to come see and you know, we're not here to make a mockery or anything. It's just want to learn here. I'm here because, well, I've been to Japan many times. I love Japan, <laughs> to be honest. Um, out of curiosity, never really much of a believer. I'm always been a very 60, 40, you know? I've definitely felt, never seen, right? And now given the opportunity to come to a location, to a place where, you know, a lot of you are trapped here, seems like. Curious, curious to connect with you. Curious, curious to- Go over you. there. I think that's actually where we're going. It is, the rope's right up there. It's right there. <laughs> Go the rope deeper, is right go there. Go deeper, go over there. To connect with you. 
to hear you, to understand, to understand what the other side is like, you know? You know what this side was, and for you, of course, it was miserable, and hopefully the other side was much better. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see what the other side is for you and to hear. That's why I'm here. Wow, and we're literally right here. Right again. That's why we're really here. Wow, the whole forest is red. One more. Also, I haven't used my um, headlamp at all and I just want to turn it on and it won't even turn on. So I am obsessed with culture. I love learning um, and once when I got the opportunity to come here, I was excited because I've never been to Asia. And so this was just a new opportunity to learn about culture. And since the moment I've been here, it's incredible. Um, the cities are beautiful outside here. Are you okay? Uh, being within the forest is beautiful. Mount Fuji, this whole area is beautiful. And it's an absolute shame that somebody would come here and do such a thing. So if we can somehow change and create some positivity and understand why this is happening, why it's becoming a place like this, and if we can create that into a positive outlook and maybe change it for one person or someone else, that would mean the world a difference uh, for the greater good for, I believe, everybody. Has that been on red the entire time? Yeah, entire the time whole time talking. Evan was talking. And it said, are you okay? asked you if you're okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, a little nervous, but my voice just cracked. So there we go. You were one of the two that cried last night. Yeah. It is still red. It's still red. Since the moment Evan started answering the question. Well, also, we are right at the do not enter sign. Oh, now it stopped. That entity's here. Ah. <laughs> at the sign. Can I take a picture? Can pull yeah, yeah. Pull the forward out. I like how Ginger is trying to flip it positive and it goes, bad entities here. Yeah, Immediately. I'm right. I'm I'm bad entities here. Just for the record. Yeah, just yeah. trying to tell you. I want to let you know. I yeah. tried, I tried. Greek. Greek. That, is, that sounds so scary. Let me try this. Let me do one more. Three, two. Just think about if yeah. mm -hmm. that same white apparition was holding my hand on the other side. I don't know. It's if there's any sort of manipulation on that photo, if there's any entity, that's gonna be insane. Okay. We're going in? We are all in agreement. We're going in here. 100 stories. There's two of us. There's two of them. Wow. Good and evil? The good, good and the bad. And evil or, or, or two the, bad entities? We got the white entity and we got the demon. Yeah, we got the gargoyle, the guardian. Yeah, it's one one positive entity versus the forest. I think it's that's literally David and Goliath. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we're all in agreement that once we go here, we're sleeping here. We yep. don't leave until the sun is fully up, not blue hour. The sun is risen. Yes. Yep. 100 stories, we're all taking turns going alone. Give this everything we can. Thank you. Before time. Remember the question earlier? <laughs> Demonic, evil, What's before time existed. Age mm -hmm. doesn't, there's no time, yeah, there's no there's age. age. And the definition. The moment we walked in past I mean, the rope. Yeah, like how how old is Mount Fuji? M millions, multi, multiple, multiple exactly. millions, tens of millions of years old. You understand me? Ha! Wow. Confirming. <laughs> oh my god! You said oh right. my god! Wow! Oh my god! That's we do. We do. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Corbin? Clearly. That's just too much. We do understand you, and believe that you obviously understand us. Nothing is off limits. Anything you can say, please do so.
I think this is the first time out of all my investigations I've ever done to be able to like fully conversate with an entity. I, it really feels like we are speaking to the forest itself. Right. Like the forest, the ground, like the area, the environment. And that's all combined with the fact that we started this yesterday by doing spiritual work, right. bonding us to Super. Mount Fuji. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is where we this is where we were yesterday. We didn't go much farther past that. I have to say it, but reminder, like we are in the area where find, yep. finding someone is a possibility. So okay. yep. just and you know, now we're going kind of further casually than coming we did. in here because we, we've we've been this far already last night. Yeah. But with new territory comes new risk. So just kind of this re reminding is, everyone we've been kind of casual. This is further than we went last last night. Right? Yes, uh, as of yeah. as of it's right. My now, heart. My heart. Wow. As of as of right now, we are beyond where we were. Okay. Um, yeah, last night, so we so. don't know what's out there. No, I have one bar of my flashlight left. Same. And even this this phone, which is fine, last night is already at ten percent. I think this is now officially where we should start using ribbons. We should start marking it right now. Are we using our colors? We can use white for right now. All right, our first marker of the night. Sick. Sick. How are you feeling, Elton? I'm actually not. Which is so weird that my brain, when I heard sick, I was like, that's weird that it'd be like sick. I didn't even. Oh. <laughs> that was my first thought. Was, it was like. like rad? Yeah. I. Oh. Sign. Sign. Yeah, I'm actually, I feel 100% right now. Like, nothing. Like, no nausea, no back pain. How are you feeling, Evan? Fine for now. Corbin? They might be talking about the sign that we just saw. Say, so, like, did you see that? Mm. We are, there's no, there's not gonna I be enough. Here. Here. Uh, All right, when I walk towards that one. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do it. I say right here could work. I think we can clear these branches. I think this is good right here. You ready? Yeah. That mine. Oh. oh my God, that's so heavy. What does that Tipid hop. And then southern. I've never heard hippid hop. Hippid what hop? Is that? What? Hippid hop. H I P I D. Hippid hop. We are making contact. We're making contact. Are they like making fun of me because I was like stick? Hip hop? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hippid hop. Hip oh hop. my gosh. What? Um, actually, do you know where the extras are? Do I have them? The what? The extra body cameras? Do I have them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're in your backpack. Hey. Hey. Okay, here's a yellow one. We're not ignoring you. I apologize. We're just setting up, getting everything ready. Maybe it understands that we're trying to set up, so it's just being quiet. <laughs> it literally said, hey, and then I was like, hold on. Sorry, not trying to ignore you. Investigate. Oh my God. Are you serious? We literally just talk about how like, yeah, now that we're, we're just pausing and it's like, hey, investigate. Just go. Yeah. Investigate. Just start Just start doing something, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be space. home. This looks like yep. it. Just for A-B test. This never went off once last night. We're gonna start. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna set up this in the center again. Everything, all the times that it was set up. She pushed. She pushed. Fate. She pushed fate. The Hayakumonogatari Kaidenkai, translating to a gathering of 100 supernatural tales, is an ancient ritual method of summoning spirits, theorized to open a portal to the underworld when fully complete. For this reason, there has been no documentation of this ritual being completed, as all previous records indicate stopping around the 90th or even 99th story and candle. It is believed that the intensity of the energy that accumulates around this time is too powerful for most most participants, leaving some nauseous, extremely paranoid, hallucinating, emotionally distraught, experiencing visions, susceptible to possession, seeing apparitions, and in the most severe case, all of the above. As each story is read, it is said to draw in spirits that have a connection to the words spoken, and the strength of pull towards the ritual circle magnifies as each candle is blown out. The exact origins of Hayakumonogatari Kaidenkai are traced back to when it was first played amongst the samurai class 
as a test of courage. In Ogita Unsei's 1660 story, Otogi Monogatari, the game was described with several young samurai telling tales, and as they finished the 100th tale, he began to extinguish the candle, when suddenly he sees a giant, gnarled hand descend upon him from above. Tonight, we will be committing to the completion of one of the oldest summoning rituals in Japanese history, in an attempt to create the ultimate connection between the living and all of those within the other realm. The rules, risks, and rewards may lead to the ultimate way to find proof of the paranormal, even if it means opening a portal to the underworld in the exact place we will sleep tonight. Every story in here has been sourced from uh, the internet, from, from authentic posts. Um, like we went through Reddit, uh, popular like stories. These are like true, if you've seen like our Haunted Homies show, um, these are submitted stories by people. These aren't written by like authors or anything of that nature. This is uh, the ritual. I am not gonna be able to read this in uh, Japanese, but uh, it translates to a gathering of 100 supernatural tales is the English translation. Participants gather in a dimly lit area, setting up 100 andan, traditional paper lanterns or candles. The ritual begins with the participant telling a kaidan, a supernatural story, and does so with as much emotion and energy as possible. After their story is concluded, the story Demonic. Again. again. Wow. Did you see? The moment you said the the moment it says demonic, something just passed by right behind you. Oh. Right behind you, right there where that tree branch is. What the? What did it look like? It was, it was, it was like real quick, real Your quick. Going off. Right behind him. It was literally right behind. I know. With the, yeah, yeah, this is right behind him too. Wow. Why is it it's blinking like that? Right it made your flashlight. Exactly. The thing is, that's the last one you have to go to. You used to click it six times to get to that. Five that's times. If it was on Crazy. the whole time, we would have noticed a long time ago. Yeah. We would have noticed when you were setting up the cameras. I mean, I'll put it right back where it was, but yeah, we that's would have fine. noticed it go through all the... Whew. Okay, go on. After the story is concluded, the storyteller extinguishes a single candle. And as each candle goes out... Fred threat. The veil grows thinner. The process repeats for all 100 stories. This process may take a few hours as each story is read. Candles are put out and communication is needed. Every minute, story and candle put out only increases the power and capabilities of the fully completed ritual upon the final step. It is believed that extinguishing the final candle opens an overwhelmingly powerful portal once the final candle is out. The game is no longer just about storytelling, but becomes an actual summoning ritual. Participants are able to call in whatever spirits they wish or must deal with those that have brought themselves through it. In some extreme cases, more powerful spirits or entities may start to present themselves at any point during the readings. Under no circumstance should this be ignored. It demonstrates the immense amount of power in, of an entity with a need to communicate. Their acknowledgement will only increase the strength and connection of the portal that shall be opened upon completion of the ritual. These are the risks. The spirits drawn by the tales of their own world might manifest physically. Objects could move inexplicably. Temperatures might drop and participants could see apparitions, ah. which were already having happen. And we already had objects thrown yesterday. Oh, and we've yeah. already seen temperature changes. Yeah. That's without doing this. Individuals who part- The woman scares me. Holy cow. Hey. Holy cow. It could be either her or the, yeah. Exactly. Either or. Exactly. The demonic forest is afraid of wow. the woman on the trail. Yep. The woman scares me. The guardian, the guardian angel. Are you afraid of a guardian? Or are you afraid of this physical woman here right now? Individuals who partook in the game may find themselves followed by the spirits they invited, experiencing unexplained phenomena at home, or even visions that haunt their dreams. 
a story told with particular intensity, or a spirit summoned with a strong will might attach a curse to a participant. This curse could manifest as a string of bad luck, mysterious ailments, or an inescapable feeling of being watched. In the most severe outcomes, a spirit- Water. Or right by water. Oh, I said water. Mm -hmm. In the most severe outcomes, a spirit might claim a participant as its vessel, leading to a battle of wills for control over the individual's body and mind, known as possession. Heard that. that was I loud. Heard that. Like a gunshot. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like a or big cannon. Pop. Yeah. Oh. Leading to a battle of wills for control over the individual's body and mind, known as possession. I heard that. That was I loud. Heard that. Like a gunshot. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like a or big cannon. Pop. Yeah. There has been no documentation of this ritual being completed in its entirety, as all previous records indicate stopping around the 90th or even 99th candle and story. It is believed that the intensity of the energy that accumulates around this time is too powerful for most participants, leaving some nauseous, extremely paranoid, hallucinating, emotionally distraught, experiencing visions, seeing apparitions, and in the most severe case, all of the aforementioned. The theorized way to close the summoning circle is to take all 100 candles, bring them to a central point, relight them all, and have all participants blow them all out at one time. Universe. Universe. That's it. So it does not say that the candles have to be in a grander, grander, big circle. So that could work just setting them all up here. Um, it doesn't say anything about placement. It's just read stories with as much intention as possible. There is no peace. All of a sudden, I was literally, literally, literally was about to say, I started to feel very nervous about this. And then this does that. <laughs> we hear you. Ah, uh, okay. We hear you too. Okay, I'm gonna build out the helmet and all the poles. Okay. And then, while oh, we're yeah, doing this, good. some of us are going off solo. Forward and Freaking. split left. And deeper. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. We did not hear that at all last time. That's a good thing. Get away from here. <laughs> Christ. I was gonna say it's a good thing because when all bugs go quiet, According to the Native American legend, is when danger's around. Is that opposite here? Is that a thing? Oh wait, crickets are. That means good thing. Good Get away from thing. here. That's a good thing. Oh. Protective. We like your equipment. <laughs> what? I've how? never heard that. How? Before. Look what's happening. What? I've never heard Setting that. Setting up before. a ritual, building out a solo <laughs> helmet, all the like everything what? we have is out right now. This very moment. <laughs> have you ever heard that? No. <laughs> That's crazy. No. I've never heard that. What? Every single piece of equipment okay. is, we possibly have is out. And they like yeah. exposed all of it. Jesus Christ. And this is new stuff too that we didn't have yesterday. I mean, that's at, like, that's, that's the what, first time that's we actually unpack all of it. All of it? Like every. How is that this possible? This is actually amazing. I'm amazed. It's incredible just how Planning. everything points. Planning. Planning. Look at us planning. <laughs> Try not to. Bring a dad. I'd like to do one A-B test before we do this. Just because if we get anything remarkable, it'd be really cool to show nothing yeah. before or something after. Yeah. You like our equipment. You're very aware of the portal and all of our plans tonight. As of right now, do you have enough energy or concentrated ability to set off this box right here. The only way to Footsteps do it. Footsteps follow. Footsteps follow. The only way to do it is to literally touch it. Are you able to do that as of right now? Okay. Try Panasonic. Let's see if we get anything on the Panasonic right now. Yeah. Three, two. Towards. Are you able to speak to us right now through this device in my hand? Are you the woman in the apparition or are Where you are my human? children? Earlier with the apparition, are you the woman or are you the demon? 
Are you afraid of the woman that Elton saw because she's trying to protect us? How many spirits are here with us tonight? Can we help the positive entity to distinguish the evil entity? Footstep. Final question. Is the devil still calling? Ending. It was a couple. Really? Because mm -hmm. you can see it when it, you yeah. can see the light, right? Yeah, after Evans, mm. after Evans, there was something. It holds like solid, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Over there. Are you able to speak to us right now through this device in my hand? Are you the woman in the apparition or are you the woman? Earlier with the apparition, are you the woman or are you the demon? Are you afraid of the woman that Elsa saw because she was trying to protect her? How many spirits are here with us? Tonight, can we help the positive entity to distinguish the evil entity? Final question, is the devil still calling? Ending. Hey, yeah, there's little... T t mm -hmm. And then he goes footstep. Mm -hmm. It almost, like, almost sounds like nails. Yeah. Like this, this recorded the thing we couldn't hear, but that was telling us, oh, that's crazy, I never thought about that. If it's telling his foot. I can use my voice. <gasps> and this says pole now. Never thought about that. That's saying like footsteps. We don't hear, but this would. That like, one. it's hearing footsteps on the other side, the other realm. Oh wow. And that's where it was like footsteps, but we don't right. hear, but they they do. Three, <clears throat> two. You said you can use your voice. Please give us something through this device right here in Elton's hand. You understand me. Is this, your per is this your preferred way of communicating with us tonight? Or should we try something different? See. Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Do we have to, do we have to say another prayer in order to help the positivity? Ending. Sorry, when I was doing that, I was saying that there was something going yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's so. why I paused. I was going to see it, too. We will make a noise. Please, give us something through this device right here in Elton's hand. We're under cover. Everyone come in. Let's go step on it. <laughs> something there. Yeah. That we have to listen to it because I don't, I can't tell from right now. Marble. You heard footsteps? Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? was him there's something there I can't quite I hear distinguish it but I know there's something there it's getting there's stronger something. though yeah mm -hmm. it is the first round nothing second round a little bit more audible yeah I you not it said after my question it said thank you really I and you can. you can hear way better than any of us that's true Way of communicating with us tonight, or should we try something different? Hmm. Are 
are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Get out while you can. Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Get out while you, you to, can. Do we have to say another prayer in order to help positivity? That's a thank, thank you. you. That is a legitimate thank you. Mm. Yeah. Get well, out while you can. And then after thank you. Thing, yeah, so as of right now, the communication on this is coming from multiple the positive, people, the, maybe the positive the entity positive or, uh, yeah, the positive side of things. Mm -hmm. Wants to protect, saying get out and thank you. Get out while you can. Yeah, that's the first time a get out while you can might actually be like a nanny. Nanny. Like a nanny. Taking care of us. Like a guardian. A guardian, a gargoyle, a nanny, a guardian. These, yeah. these are, I mean, yeah. yeah, we're children compared to whatever oh this goodness. being is. Yeah. yeah. These are whatever this is, we are literally children. Still nothing on a REM pod. No. Which is very interesting to me. No physical, like, I mean, that is in a mass amount of energy to, to get that to go off. Right. Should we start this? Yeah, and I'm going to do one more thing. Marvel. That said it twice. It did say Marvel again. It said it, said it, it twice. It said demonic twice. Oh, so quiet. Yeah, dude. The crickets are. I'm from the 1800s. No way. Are you? You got that right? Wow. When it said there's no distinguishing for age, you're saying what's the definition? Right. We talk about it being scientifically. It would be this. This old. You know, for this. That could be the lady. The lady. You're right. Could be the 1800s. That's yeah. who we're currently speaking with. So the lady could be created in the 1800s, but the entity earlier was also answering. Wow. Huh. They did say there's two of us, right? Right. Yeah, there's the ancient entity, which is the forest, the demonic entity. And now we have this guardian, guardian. this nanny, this gargoyle protector from the 1800s. Yeah. Hi. 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 Does that hi, hi mean yes? Hi. Two? Hi. Means yes. You're gonna grab one? Yeah, I'm gonna grab one. Okay. Dimly lit. Nurse. Nurse, nanny. Another caregiver. Frog oil. Caretaker. I'm wondering if there's multiple. You say caretaker? No, I'm just saying nurse as a caretaker. Uh -oh. They're like in the same category. You know, obviously it's hurting. Nurse hurting. Are you warning us again? The incoming pain. Don't go down there. Why? Go down where? Okay. Fog conceals malevolence. What? Fog? <gasps> you saw fog. Fog conceals malevolence is evil. Yes. So it conceals it. It's like it, I think it's saying that it could take it out. Also, isn't that like the same kind of cryptic stuff it was saying on the portal? Yes. It was saying like just bizarre... Like saying. Yeah. yeah. No, no way. way! This is the first time... Twice? It's the first time it's ever This gone thing off. never goes off. It's the first time it's ever... <laughs> this no thing way. never goes off. We light the candles. And just so everybody watching, look at this. This thing, th there's no chance. It's touch only. I mean, at yeah, this point, sure. it's touch only. It's even no chance. That's why, like, I mean, look, it didn't go off till we lit the candles. It's the exact same thing as the binding ritual. Once we blew out the candles, the K2 started spiking. Yeah. We had it set up. The entire binding ritual never went off. I mean, this whole time never went off. I've seen that thing go off maybe, what, four times in my life. Everyone's going alone for a half hour each. I'll do... First shift, I'll go completely by myself. Anxiety. The four of you can stay here, keep going. All you, I have no idea how long they are, how short they are. Okay, yeah, here we go. Again, bring the story to life. Yes, that's right. What could, what could they be talking about? 
Yes, that's right. We talked about a lot of things. I mean, it could be that we're doing the ritual, saying, yeah, let's do it. That's that's the right thing to do. I can't believe that went off. That was crazy. And it was a double. <clears throat> it was. Yeah, it stopped for a second. Last weekend, me and a couple of buddies decided to go camping in the woods near this river. Are you freaking kidding me? Near a river. Of all we were the land. We are talking about water, too. There's a hundred... Are you... What are the odds of all the stories in here? I've read one sentence. Oh and it's God. going off. There's a hundred stories in here. We just uh, pulled them all out, put them all back in. Random. They're not marked. Like, the, no. What is this thing? We decided now? to go camping the Near night we're sleeping river. here by a river. This is. Oh, the whole point of the stories is to be able to relate. Oh, so it relates. So, who. People that are in here, what would they have done? No, 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 no. I don't know these stories. Oh, no, don't say anything bad. We're camping by a river. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever happens in the story no, no. happens to us. I don't know if they know the story yet. Dude, I, they've known everything. We're, it said portal the second we got here. The second we light the candles, this starts going off. This is the one device we've had for like four years that I trust more than anything else. It knows everything we're going to be doing and doing. Mm. It knows all of it. It like knows what we're gonna do before we do it. I mean, yeah. limp for all I know, someone's gonna roll an ankle. It is going off right now. It is. It even said nurse. It said anxiety it and it forced It said out nurse of and it said ailment. Yep. And we're talking about going off alone and then limp. The fact that this is going off this much it, right it, now is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, dude, that, that's insane. This First is story is we decided to go camping by a river. Right. First sentence. Yeah. This hasn't gone off. And that's choking. Choking. Do you remember what it said too? If you get activity, do not ignore it. It is not coincidence. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, are we ready for the next sentence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this right. is going to take more than five hours. We're all pumped, is the next. Ready for the weekend of fishing, drinking, and chilling by the campfire. We got off to a late start since Nick is always late for whatever stupid excuse that he has that day probably started a hike about an hour before the sun set. It takes about an hour or so to get to the spot that we know. So it's all good. We're hiking deeper into the woods to find out, to find that perfect spot by the river that we've been hearing these, and we start hearing these weird noises. <sighs> like, it's hard to explain, but it sounded like someone or something was mimicking us. We'd been chatting away and then we'd hear the exact same words echoing behind us from all different directions. At first, we thought it was just our voices bouncing off the trees or something, but it kept happening, even when we stopped talking. It was like whatever, whatever was out there was copying every sound that we made. Footsteps, rustling leaves, even the crackling of twigs under our feet. The craziest part? The sounds were coming from all around us, even though we couldn't see anyone or anything nearby. We tried to brush it off, joking that we were being stalked by a forest ghost or some But deep down, we were all freaking out. I mean, it's one thing to hear- Man. Man? Is that what it said? Man. Man. It's one thing to hear weird noises in the woods, but when those noises sound like, just like you, and seem to be following you, it's a whole nother level of creepy. We finally made it to the river and set up camp, and I swear on my life, it sounded like a whole other group was also setting up camp near us. Everything we did, we heard seconds later. It felt like a scene in a movie where the actors mirror each other as a joke and kept getting faster and weirder to see if the other person would do it. 
It was that, but in the forest. We all kept our rifles near us that night. It ended up stopping around four in the morning. Definitely got the worst sleep of my life. We've been in the exact same spot a few times before, but the only difference on this night was it was a full moon. I have no idea what that means when it comes to ghosts or spirits or whatever you call them, but it can't be a coincidence. What a first story. Wow. First story is about camping in the woods, about an hour Yeah. to get in, finding the perfect spot. Hearing footsteps. All which we've heard footsteps, footsteps, footsteps the whole night. Yes, Hello. especially you. Below. The footsteps. Wait, oh, that's crazy. Below. The, the footsteps have been coming from below. In the cave, yes. And that's why we hear it. And that's why we hear it as dot, 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 because it's coming. That would explain why we don't hear footsteps like this. We don't hear these. And we, and we saw the cave, too. We saw a cave. Yeah. Right. We keep hearing the footsteps from underneath. Yeah. And like the because tapping. Because they're coming from below. They're not coming from our footsteps where our footsteps are. And, you're, okay. and yesterday it was like. Like. Uh -huh. Like scratching at the ground underneath us. They've always been yeah. below us the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Which relates to the story. Yeah. What should we do with the Let's leave them open okay. so that way we know we've read them. Okay. We don't accidentally pull another one. Yeah, yeah. We we'll probably sense. recognize it. And then uh, it's on you to burn out a candle. Dollhouse reflects. Huh? Dollhouse, Dollhouse reflects. Reflect. Last time I heard that was the Warren stream. Huh. I heard that in the Warren stream. What happened when you heard it? I don't know. I was just staring at Annabelle and it went like dollhouse reflects. You know, like, it's weird. It was, it was also during the entire investigation, I was basically saying like game recognized game. Huh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Annabelle's evil and I'm like, I always yeah. make jokes. Yeah, but you also remember during your, your uh, when you're talking about the rules of this and what it would come out to. It's going to create a portal to create anything that you've ever seen before you could bring in stuff rather than also the things that are here that's true, that's it, true. so it's, you had that happen before and i wonder what you're doing like if it's bringing in something else we summon annabelle I, out here <laughs> just straight from connecticut oh exactly my gosh. and it didn't it stopped now wow it had a moment we live on here we live on, we live here. on. maybe it's talking about the caves i mean it literally blatantly recognized like yeah i don't know it, and even before it said fate, and also this thing is dead. Did it die? Yeah. It died? It died, died, huh? What is that? It faded, it's dead. Oh and the last thing it said was fate and limp. Something really strange happened in our sorority house this past weekend. We'd heard rumors that the place was haunted, so a few of us decided to do some investigating. You know, light some candles. Oh, where are you serious? Maybe summon a ghost or two. Oh my god. Anyway, we're all gathered in the living room, candles lit, trying to spook ourselves out. We each take a turn knocking three times on the floor, introducing ourselves and asking for someone to give us a sign. They very stere the very stereotypical ghosty stuff. Literally the last person in the circle finishes, which is what we're doing tonight, yeah. and immediately all the lights go out. Please keep talking. All the lights go out, like That's pitch awesome. black. So. Can't see your hand in front of your face darkness, as if someone turned off the power to the entire house at once. We're all freaking out, trying to find our phones to use as flashlights when someone screams. We turn to see what the hell's going on, and out going on, and there, in the middle of the floor, are these dirty footprints, like bare feet, covered in dirt, one pair side by side, no footsteps leading to or from it. Now, we all assume it's one of the girls messing around, right? But here's the thing. Everyone in the room had shoes on, and these footprints, they weren't just random smudges on the floor. They were clear as day, like someone had walked into the center of the room with dirty feet. We're all frozen in terror, staring at these footprints. On footprints. Footsteps, footsteps, footsteps. Now it makes me think we gotta look for footprints tonight. Yeah, definitely. And suddenly, the lights flicker back. Now at this point, we all start arguing and pointing fingers, looking at each other's feet, examining shoelaces or anything that we can find to figure out who did it. Days later, and no one has confessed. I want to try again, but this time with one of those Amazon night vision cameras. Elijah. Dude. These are Amazon night vision cameras. No, no way. All of these are from Amazon. They're $120. Wow. 
Wow. All of my body cameras are from Amazon. Wow. None of the girls will do it with me. That's it, that's where it ends right there. You just lick your fingers and put that's it out. That's what I did. Be careful you don't get wax all over your fingers. I got wax all over my fingers. Guilty. Guys. Guilty. Footprint. Footprint, we've been getting footsteps. <laughs> uh. Can we find your footprints in this forest? We're not supposed to ignore it. And that's twice on footprints. It'll probably happen again. I'll pay attention to it later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two down, 98 to go. Eight stories on the off alone. Back in the 1960s, my grandfather on my dad's side was drafted into the army for the Vietnam War. He gets discharged in late 1972, drifts apart from all of his war buddies except for one. They live remarkably close to one another in Washington state and both exhibit some seriously post-war PTSD issues. Therefore, they both decide to go on a hunting trip together around the autumn season of 1973 to try to find healing and closure post-war. As he tells it, Post-war? Okay. As he tells it, he would always hunt deer in the woods behind his house. In those days, his home... In those days, his home was more of a cabin with basic necessities. Anyone who's been in the Pacific Northwest Forest knows how thick and dense the foliage and trees are. Oh. I pulled this from the middle. What? There's, there's a lot of relating to this story. Fate. I mean, I don't know. Fate. There's a lot of relating, you're right. All three. I well, also wonder after World War II, you know, I mean, there's a lot of soldiers. No, not here. Not here. Okay. Keep going. How thick and dense the foliage and trees are, not to mention the fog. You can't see far ahead of you. Sight lines become blurred. Sounds become amplified. The sense of isolations can cause your blood pressure to rise. So, my grandfather and his friend are both hunting off trail. Tie- Shut up. What? Tying bright markers on tree branches as oh they move through the underbrush serious? so they don't get lost. Watch. Suddenly they hear a sound. That'll do it. For sure. What are the... I don't know how to convey this. These stories were like, I don't... I, don't... I helped research and... Stories were copied and pasted from Reddit posts and other websites and other forums. Nothing was modified. Everything was pulled straight up in, printed on this paper, folded at random, thrown at random, dumped back out at random, and back into the box being pulled at random. I know this seems like this is some scripted f but th they, this is... They're not all like this. Did you see that? I heard yeah, that. I heard Footprints, candles in a circle, camping, no, hiking by a river, tying bright ribbons. Who's ghost stories about tying bright ribbons around a tree? The first three we pull. There's so many that have nothing to do with woods. Here's, like there's. Yeah, but we pull the ones that are yeah, with woods pulled, right off the bat. It's not. It's fate, right? That's what it says. Yeah. Out, fate. Outside of this, my belief in life has always been everything Brother happens Moth. for a reason. That's right. how I've always believed everything. And like for all of us to be here doing this now, it knows it's all happening. The second it's lit, that's going like, whatever this is knows everything that's happening and everything that we're doing. And like exactly. Keep going. Okay. Every step. So my grandfather and his friend are both hunting off a trail, tying bright markers on tree branches as they move through the underbrush so they don't get lost. Suddenly they hear a sound. It's a blaring sound of a train horn. It's so loud it causes the two men to become disoriented. My grandfather recalls he fell to his knees, hands on his ears, screaming, but not even hearing his own screams. The sound doesn't seem to have direction. It's all encompassing everywhere. The ground is shaking. And like a bad cliche. That's a train. Like a bad cliche, as soon as it began, it stopped, dissipating in an instant. They both are kneeling there, stunned. Their ears are ringing so badly they can't hear their own voices. Do I talk over it? Yes. Or do I? Okay. This is going to take nine hours. Their mouths move, but nothing happens. As the sun sets, they begin to head back, spooked beyond belief. As their eardrums are shot, they scribble notes to each other on a notepad. As they hike back to my grandfather's cabin, as they're heading back, they see something hanging behind a tree. Oh my god. I hanging oh, are you behind serious? a tree up ahead on the trail. Its outlines are blurred. It floats towards them and it's revealed it is themselves. It wasn't 
it wasn't like looking in a mirror per se because it was a creature. My grandfather felt it, it was blurry and fuzzy, but my grandfather in his early 30s at the time said that he saw himself as an old man, white beard, frail, sunken eyes. He had to squint, but his facial features were the same. His war friend, however, oh, had a bullet hole in his head. The figure then morphed into black, an eternal void, death. The early evening pinkish orange sun rays just ended when they reached the blackness. They panicked at this point, running back into the woods, screaming like madmen. As the darkness fell, they decided to keep on going, refusing to camp out in those woods. So, did anybody notice the same as my story in terms of echoing the mirroring? And then you said that when they went out there, it looked exactly like them. Mirroring, It was yeah. a mirror of themselves. That was a totally the same thing. They experienced the same thing. Yep. I wonder if anybody in this forest has had that. This is why I want everyone to watch part one and part two, because they'll see that this never went off, and it was out for the equal amount of time. For a long time, yeah. The stories about tying ribbons and also being in the woods and also being in the forest and seeing someone in the trees. Here, let's let him pick. You pick. One time as a teenager, I was making something to eat and randomly heard a bunch of birds chirping super loud. I look up and into the living room and see at least 20 spirit birds flying around the room. Okay. Think the old style white, white light effect they used for Tinkerbell. I was a little weird out and was also hearing say hi to mom. So I asked her, I said, hey mom, did you ever have birds? like lots of birds before I was born. She stopped and looked very confused. She said, yeah, I had close to two dozen wild parakeets when I was a teenager, why? I told her because they were all flying around the living room saying hi to you. She had never mentioned before having birds. Wow. Well, that went off a lot during that story. mom. Um, and white light, which is like Guardians, Tinkerbell, I mean, yeah, again, yeah, relevant. Exactly. Never believed in ghosts, Openly, openly mocked people that did. <laughs> Went camping with my wife and I, and I were going to sleep in a pole barn. We brought the dog into the barn, and immediately she was freaking out. Very uncommon for such a relaxed and tired dog. Walking around the air mattress and whining, about five minutes of me telling her to calm down. A light shines through the aluminum slide siding. Imagine holding a flashlight on the other side of a curtain uh, doing a figure eight. It seemed like it was some sort of flashlight shining through the aluminum door. I don't mention anything for a few minutes as I'm questioning everything that I've ever known to be true. My wife asks, did you see that? I say, oh, f you see it too. At that exact moment, I realize we both saw it and it turned into the brightest orb I've ever seen. It lit up the whole barn as if it was daytime, and then it started floating towards us. I yelled at my wife to run, and the dog was already at the door. We ran as fast as we could and didn't dare go back to the air mattress. Our dog never would walk to that pole barn again. Nothing on that one. Nothing went up. This happened maybe just 10 minutes ago. I'm home with my almost one-year-old child and my dog. And two older kids are at my folks' place for a few nights and have been gone since yesterday. They typically like to go stay at Grammy's about once a month or so. It's a common occurrence. So I got the baby up. The dog is laying in the entryway to the hall where the bedrooms are. The baby was focused on something and being quiet. My dog looked toward the hall and kind of whined. Then I heard something that sounded like my daughter. It wasn't a whole lot of noise, but definitely a giggle and sounds like toys moving coming from a room. It lasted a second or two, but my dog growled at this point while staring down the hall at the girl's room. I do need to add that my dog is weary of strangers, so he will typically growl at someone he doesn't know. So I don't think whatever this was is bad. It just startled me. I've never had this happen before while she was gone. 
Now my dog just keeps laying in the same spot, keeping watch. Normally something like this wouldn't weird me out as much, but this is the first time, first mimic I've dealt with in a long time. Anyway, happy Monday, Reddit people. Mimic. And the dog was kind of acting as a guardian too. Yeah, and again, it's about a mom with her children, which we've got in Gargoyle, yeah. nanny, caretaker, yeah, exactly. nurse, and this yeah. is going off yeah. again, as we're talking about a story in which they are protecting their children. Like, I've never done these yeah. kinds of things in videos ever, but I was like, I just kind of want to try it. Like, yeah. I, you know, I'm like, let me just try the summoning thing and see if yeah. it works. And this, it's, it's, I know it's, we're only five stories in. It's very consistent. This box yeah. is going off more than it ever has. At what Four, point six, do you want to start going six, out? 10. 10 of them. Okay. Okay, so, so that's a good yeah. time. story number seven. Here we go. Bitch. Back pain. You feeling it right uh, now? What? Back pain? Yeah, I right now. It's coming yeah. back. Where? Left side, opposite of last time. Cut. Left, like, center, upper. Okay. Right there. Cool. Say it like, yeah, you oh know boy. it's good. Okay. And I'm sitting, I'm not standing, I'm not no. anything. All right. We're actually relaxing for once. Yeah. I was a total deadbeat and I lived with my then girlfriend's parents when I was younger. They had a tri-level house with a basement that contained our living space and my girlfriend and I's bedroom. Upstairs was the living space for everyone else including dining room and kitchen. The third level had the master bedroom and two additional bedrooms for my girlfriend's sisters. I was home alone one night when her parents off with friends, my girlfriend was at a friend's and her sisters were on an all night church thing. I elected to stay home and play Wow, all night. Wow. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, where my computer and desk sat right above my head, there was an AC vent. Often I could hear her sister playing in her room from that vent. I was leveling my paladin or something <laughs> when I heard laughing and giggling coming from the vent. Nobody was supposed to be home, so my heart picked up. I glanced at the clock on my computer and it read 1.36 a.m. I remember this very distinctly. I went to go investigate, and I headed upstairs. Investigate. I opened the first door on the left, which was her younger sister's room, which is directly above the basement. Inside, I used the light of my phone to illuminate as best as I could. I saw a small figure, what I assumed was a small girl, wrapped in a white sheet in the center of the room. This figure, this young girl, stops playing with the dolls and slowly looks at me. It let out the most ear-shattering scream you can imagine. My skin crawls just thinking about it and my chest tightens up remembering it. I wish I could tell you what transpired, but I remember waking up at the bottom of the landing, right next to the door of the kitchen. I stumbled into the kitchen to get a drink of water and contemplate what the f just happened. I, I glanced at the clock on the microwave. The clock read 4.46 a.m. We never found the sheet the next day, but the dolls that the figure were... But the dolls that the figure was playing with were sitting in the middle of the room, away from the toy chest, which they were inside that afternoon when she cleaned her room, which is across the room. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Investigate it. I like the word investigate. Yeah. So I get home Steven. from... Okay. Dude, is this story about someone named Steven? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I, I swear. I if, Steven, yeah. So I get home from my job as a server at midnight. One of my roommate was in the Navy and that was deployed at the time. And the other one was with his girlfriend or was at his girlfriend's house. I cooked myself dinner and as I was cooking, my dog started growling and barking towards the middle of the room at nothing. This is especially weird because she never, ever barks. She was a rescue and I got her as a sense of security when I was home alone and I could never get her to bark at anyone. I dismissed her barking as odd, but I finished cooking and eat. I started to clean and turn the sink on because it takes forever to get hot. But right when I turned around, the sink turned off on its own. Again, I think it's odd, but I don't really think it's worth freaking out over. The hair on the back of my dog is standing up straight, but no one was home and it's midnight. So I figured I'd just tough it out, even though I was beginning to get a little spooked. After cleaning, I go back to the bathroom and sit, sorry, sit, Kevin. I go back to the bathroom and sit on the sink to 
pluck my eyebrows. My bedroom was small. With the sink immediately as you enter, the toilet is next to it and the toilet paper dispenser directly across. So the way I was sitting, the toilet paper dispenser was behind me. After two to three minutes, I hear a weird noise behind me. So I turned around and I do not. The whole roll of toilet paper was unrevealed, unrevealing fast as fuck, like someone was pulling it. I noped the fuck out of the bathroom. The, the, the door was closed and it was no windows. Run. I noped. Run. Yeah. So it couldn't have been a breeze. I put a leash on my dog and ran out of the apartment faster than Usain Bolt. By the time this happened, it was already around 2 a.m. None of my friends were awake, so I spent the night sitting outside the door uh, to my apartment. When I went back in the next morning, the whole roll of toilet paper was on the ground, and the roll was probably three-fourths full, and I'm talking about a good five to ten meter of the toilet paper. After that day, I never had an odd experience quite like that uh, one ever again, but one of my roommate did mention that a few times he'd come home and find every door and cabinet in the place open when he specifically remember closing them and leaving them that way when he left. I feel like anytime you mention like home is when you get activity. Yeah. And then it's like something about home, even if the story is like completely irrelevant to anything yeah. else, on home is when you're getting something. My grandmother was a Cajun voodoo black witch, dark she did animal sacrifices, blood the ground. bloodletting, and the like. We were all convinced that she had a place waiting for her in hell. She was not a big woman. She was maybe five foot tall, 100 pounds. At her funeral home, they had four men carry the casket from the uh, funeral home to the hearse. At the church, it took six hours to get her out. It took eight Isabella. It took eight to get her into the cemetery, and as she got heavier and heavier, as they, she got heavier and heavier as she got closer to the grave, it took 10 men to get her to the actual grave. When we returned to the house where the rest of the family was, me and my uncle went to the kitchen. The kitchen was hot, like opening a hot oven, and it was mid-February at the time in the house in the country with no electricity. Inside the kitchen, we both saw my grandma, whom we just buried holding hands with four of the women in a circle, facing each other. It was a small kitchen. I didn't know them at all, but my uncle recognized a couple, being his grandma's sister who died, and one of, and his grandma was, and one was grandma's mom, who was long dead. We left, have not been back to that house since. That was close to 30 years ago. First one to go off. What's your plan? Uh, I'm going to use the helmet and a new tool that has not been used yet before. Uh, okay, so I'll uh, go alone for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Right, I feel like it's probably enough time to do like 10, 15 stories. Yeah. And then I'll come back, probably read some more as a group, send two more people out, repeat. Sounds good. And. Uh, that way we can investigate beyond the forest while you guys do this and kind of essentially two birds, one stone. The worst part about this now is like, if I come across anyone, it's it's gonna be like feet away. Yeah. Like there's, I just, this is the, fur the furthest I can see is like this tree right here. Oh, it's awful. Because this completely uh, crushes my ability to see beyond it. This sucks, it works, it sucks and it works. The Phasma box is piped into these headphones. Oh. You hear it? Yeah. Now this works better. This one's okay. I just heard you think you're the brave one, right? Anyone? Please don't let me find anyone. They're ahead. Okay, you seem like you're willing to communicate tonight. Last night I was asking questions that you were unwilling to answer. I would love to learn about the origin 
of your power, what you are. I'm the eldest of three siblings, and of course, as we moved house to house, I got the basement bedroom most time. What are you? You are demonic. You are the forest. Ancient. What does your power come from? This lava. This lava? And where did... This lava. But we tried. The earth created you? The bushes. The bushes. There's someone in the bushes. I only know. Protect. I, dude, I've never heard this much on the Phasma Box. Protect, I only know. One more time. Are your powers stagnant? Are they stuck now? Since it's been a, f it's been a few hundred years since Mount Fuji has erupted. Are your powers dormant? I was on the Manassas battlefield in Virginia with my father when I was younger. Because the Mount Fuji is dormant, and your powers are. Is that why you need to lure people into this forest? By bringing people here, does it feed you? Oops. I've been to another place. where it feeds off of fear, off of other people, to keep itself strong and alive. Is that what you're doing? You know that answer? Oh, why is my hand just got like frozen? It's not that cold yet. It's 50 degrees maybe. My fingers just went ice cold instantly. There's caves everywhere. I'm like in that direction too. I'm not going to stop asking you questions. You're gonna stay stop when? I'm not going to stop asking questions. So give me the answer. Even if you give me the answer, what does it change? I can't stop you. Everyone in the entire world already knows how strong you are. There's a whole new path right here. I thought it completely ended. 
My mom was diagnosed with late stage breast cancer in 2009. Have y'all noticed something? Yeah. yeah. Ever since Mother. Bolton's left, yeah. that box has not gone off. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Right? It's true. At all. And mm -hmm. this story, and your story, had a lot to do with the same theme. Motherly. Yeah. Guardian, the Caring dad protecting the, children. the daughter. Yeah. Yep. And that's I what agree. triggered it before, and it stopped. It, stopped. it hasn't made a single noise since he left. Completely. Nice. Uh, j just the, this whole thing just not going, I, it was going off constantly. Yeah. Couldn't even finish a story, couldn't even finish a sentence. Is it, I mean, are we saying that it could be connected to Elton in some sort of way? No, I think it's just, it went with Elton. Whatever it is, whether, I, the I hope it's the Guardian, you know? Hope is the Guardian that went with Elton. Yeah. Because if it was connecting with their stories when we were talking about Guardians, it would have said something during that story. Right. That was a perfect guardian Maybe, story. Maybe, right. you know, I mean, but Lady yesterday said that, you know, he's got the devil on his shoulder. And one of the reasons why he's so strong is because he goes through all the, the deep darkness. Yeah. So. Well, that's the good devil. We could hope that. You know? What do you mean the good devil? The lady said that that's the good devil that helps him now because he's oh, gone God. through so much. He's already gone. He's the he's already gone through all the darkness. The strong. He is the strong. Grr, darkness. You know. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just hope it's that. I yeah. hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so too. I'm gonna change who I am. Try and talk to. The lady in white. The guardian of this forest. Can you talk to me this way? Your goal is to protect this place. So I'm sure you understand how it was created and what it is. Could you tell me? Maybe together we can prevent more tragedy from happening here. You've been our guardian tonight. I've seen you right in front of me, before my very eyes. We know the forest here, the forest here is demonic. How powerful is it? <laughs> Are we underestimating the strength? White, can you explain what these pains are? What they mean? Yes, I can, child. What do they mean? This is okay. I feel them in so many places, but I never know if it's good, bad, or what is it? Can you please explain it? A solution. The solution? I feel like I can fall into this forest very easily. What do these pains mean? Is it just energy I'm not understanding? Why? 
I think I need just to stick to a lane right now. Leading white, the demonic, the forest. I'm picking one lane. And I'm not gonna give up on the answer. When we first moved to my childhood house, the first few weeks everything was normal, but one night my parents were arguing and some pans ended up falling near the sink, making a pretty loud noise. And after that night, every night around 12 midnight, you would hear the same sound of falling pans around the sink. And still nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I'll, let me throw a couple cables. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just to see. Him. I want to understand what the forest is. I feel like they will end up trying to talk to the lady in white. Collecting evidence. Before I ask any other questions, I want to let you know that I will be back tomorrow alone for the entire night. But I think you already knew this. Climate change? The clearest one I've ever heard. Climate change. Dormant volcano. I don't. I'll be back tomorrow by myself. You will have every opportunity to affect me however you want. So let's make this a challenge. I believe that the force that's here has the ability to inflict dark thoughts into people. To sway the way they think, their actions, their soul. Try and do it to me. Do it to me and no one else. No thanks. I find myself to be rather happy lately. I'm here with my friends, my loved ones, doing something that I enjoy, something I'm passionate about, something that I can share. Last night, I was fast asleep in my bed, minding my own business, when suddenly I felt this icy grip wrap my ankle. I can hear all the voices. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's me, right? Does that mean he's okay? Well, then what does that mean? Because if you're saying, I hope he's okay, and this is going off for us, then they're not over there. Like she came back. Yeah. She came back to us. The guardian came back to us. Yeah. I, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. I don't know. It's almost like, um, it's almost like Lassie when, you know, they're saying the best way to help is to get their friends, to get their family. But you know Elton, and you know he would not want us to go over to, no. to him, so. Okay, I also so don't hear him anymore, and I feel yeah. like if he would, if the yeah. worst thing happened, he would be yelling for us right He would now. yell, yeah, he would yell. I agree. So for you to inflict any form of darkness upon me would be a challenge for you as opposed to the people that you are normally doing to here. My puppet. The last time I was here, you made me sick. I was vomiting. You made me rather miserable that way. You want to bring sadness to me? I'm sure, there's a few things you can say. Keep 
snickering and laughing. The process is not pretty. And then ha 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 ha. That's another forest opening. Whoa. It's not a shadow. What the f is that? That is not a shadow. There's a spider wave on me. That's still not it. I see like a dark figure on the floor right there. Oh, f ribbon. Motherfucker, motherfucker. God. God. Is this the woman that showed herself before? Can you tell us your name? We don't have the device anymore. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really right. Here anything, but... I was at my uncle's house with my family, and they all decided to leave to the store because... That could be saying that she's the woman. Okay. Sometimes it takes a delay, sometimes it's... Okay. It's within seconds or sometimes it's minutes. It's back with us. Maybe it left just to see yeah. him out. Maybe. I mean, he's going out by himself. You know, that's usually not a good thing here. Mm -mm. So I would see him out too. I was at my uncle's house with my family and they all decided to leave to the store because we had just gotten back from a long drive and needed stuff for the morning. My cousin and I stayed back with my uncle and aunt. My cousin and I were living in, were in the living room and watching a new cartoon movie. To our left is a window without any curtains or shutters. Just, just a wide open window. I am deathly terrified of the dark at this point in time. And I, start, I kept staring out the window. At one point, I find myself looking out the window and there it is, flying no higher uh, to the house than a bird would be. No disturbance in the walls. A loud noise is a typical dis description of a UFO. Round and had several green, white, and red lights that were on the bottom of it. It is around the size of three houses and took up the whole window. I could not see the whole thing. I was paralyzed in fear. Why is it going off so this? much? This is more of a UFO story, so it's almost making me think like it's telling us, hey, go get your friend. I'm thinking the same thing. That's kind of making me nervous, but I don't, I don't want to like break this up. No, I get what you're saying. Well, trust me, he would not want us to. We gotta stick to the plan, yeah. Yeah, we have to. There's no, there's no doubt that he would not want us to come over there. Yeah, I would say if he didn't come back in over an hour, then we have an issue. Then we, yeah. Set a timer. Yeah, I've been keeping track. Okay, good. I was paralyzed in fear. It traveled right over the house, like it was conducting a patrol of sorts, scanning houses or something. Since then, my uncle has constantly reported UFO sightings. Our first one with a UFO, which is interesting. Yeah. This is very active right here. Can you please make sure you're taking care of Elton out there? See, the trouble is, what if it's just saying, like, I'm trying to. You guys are not listening. Should we do the dog rounds? But also, should we stay on the stories? Also, though, every, remember, every single candle that goes off, it gets stronger and stronger, stronger. and stronger. As you're right. more connected to. Must you're right. Going. So... Well, we come right in. 
But anybody you can. I'm an idiot. I mean, I blatantly just challenged it to put some form of sadness in me, thinking that the only thing it would say would be like, bring up a thought about my dogs passing away or something terrible happening to my friends or family. And moments later, clear ribbon, I see someone over there. I gotta mark where it is so I can call the right people. It's not there any more. I, um, look, the physical ribbon is still here. Right here, physical ribbon. I swear in everything in my life, I just saw someone right here, just laying there. That's my biggest fear, is finding someone in this forest, and I, I swear on everything on... I have a lot of stories, but I'll talk about my camp. My family camp has been in my family for generations. It's an old Native American land with a burial site. We have found many, thing on, many things on the land from our ancestors. We have the leader of the tribe that will ride his horse across the top of our sand pit and watch over us. The best thing that ever happened to us would be one night as we were all asleep in our campers, something came to every camper and ran around knocking on them. When we all came outside, we realized that the river was flooding really badly and we had to hightail it out of there. The next day after the rain stopped, we went back to find our little bridge, floated down the stream, and we had to get some paddle boats from my aunt's house the stream to cross the river and once we got back to camp we saw that it was flooded up to the doors of the campers if we had stayed there all night we would have been stuck there and our vehicles could have been ruined but luckily luckily something that night warned us ahead of time warning is that the weirdest coincidence yeah what for stream stream no that warning it's Protector. a spirit that mm -hmm. came back to warn them mm -hmm. Ahead of time, and that like this is happening. Like you're saying, this is warning us. Oh, this is done. Light, it's done. Oh wait, oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot I had this on me. I forgot I had these. Okay. Right here. There was no log right here. There's nothing right here that forms like a person. And I saw them laying sideways like this. And it makes me wonder if like that ribbon marked where they were and I still saw them. found it. Hi, you found it. The story takes place during the school field trip when I was 10 years old. 
I don't usually tell the story in my adult life, but it is absolutely true and my mom can back me up. When I was a teenager, I went to boarding school. After the winter holidays, a family friend of ours, around the same age as I was, committed suicide in the family home. Wow. I mean, that's more connected with this place than any of these stories so far. Any of them? Yeah. yeah. I would the assume more, you think so too. Yeah, those were blown out. They are? That's not what I'm saying. Oh, the, the more, more that the, we're blown out. The more. The more yeah. active it's getting now. Mm hmm. Okay. Well played. I challenged you. You won. You've made it very clear what you're capable of. That was the most real entity apparition figure, I don't even know what to call it, I've ever seen in my entire life. I would have bet my life that there was some someone laying there. It's my only fear. I don't know what else to do to push you to give answers. Is there some way I can earn that from you? Is there something I can do or promise? Spider web right here, which makes me think no one's gone past her in a while. Before I head back, is there something I can do or promise? So you'll finally be able to communicate with me and, and give some answers. I just want to understand. How are you able to do that? How are you able to put an image directly, not only into my mind, but into my eyes? I feel so terrible right now. Oh. Come on, dude, push through this. I can't with you. Push through it, come on. I will not give up my will. No, can't do this. Off. Good, good. Okay. Also, you just said I just love your skin. No, no, your skin. Oh, Fuck you, your skin. Dude, this sucks so much right now. My back is literally getting... Like someone's putting their foot in my back and trying to snap my spine in half. Deep. Not this way. I'm 
not going to stop till you're dead. It stopped. Last thing I heard was, I'm not going to stop till you're dead, and it turned itself off. Not a fun time. What At least you guys couldn't hear me. I did. Cool. Did Found you? someone. No. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Oh, Are you serious? Oh, Are you okay? Uh, okay. Stop. Wait, what? Woo. Really? Yup. Uh. It's wild that you came back during this one because this one is the closest thing to this place yeah. out of any of the stories. So my mom's voice started to tremble and then went into her reason for calling. But as soon as you left, we read three, four stories and this guy did not make a single noise the entire mm -hmm. time oh. after being so active. Mm -hmm. And then it did. Then it just started going and going, and that's also when we heard you yelling. Mm -hmm. And we had a theory that maybe we had a gut feeling that it was a guardian that left to be with you. And then we heard you yelling, and it came back. How did you say, like Lassie, almost like go yeah. oh, save your friend? Yeah, you yeah. need to go out there. Timmy fell in the well, sort of situation. And it just kept going, and it just kept beeping and beeping and beeping. But then we we decided to wait it out a little to give you more time in case we were well, wrong about that. We just know that you would not. We, we feel that whatever was here, maybe it was this guardian spirit that kept resonating. It left with you because yeah. we kept reading stories and nothing happened. Nothing. There nothing. was no beeping Silence. at all. Then we heard you yelling, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 just beeping one after another. Constantly for like five minutes. Yeah, it was almost like saying, stories. hey, you guys need to go help your friend. And we wanted to go, but we're like, you know what, Evan was like, let's just set a timer. Me. You know, if you pass like an hour, then we should go find you. Yeah. Yeah. What were you yelling about? Uh, I, I'm, I know this is gonna sound insane. I saw someone and they weren't there. Like, um, like see-through? Like No, like I saw a corpse on the ground. And then you got closer. And then they weren't there. So as you get, went closer in, like, oh I'll I'll back up the sequence of events so this like makes more sense. But asking questions, Forrest, getting kind of the same answers. Yeah. Right, nothing really specific, just the same kind of answers. And then I tried actually talking to uh, the lady in white, uh -huh. what I'm referring to, right? The lady I saw, I'm trying to like talk to her and see if she'll give me some kind of answer um i wasn't really getting anything there and then i said you know what i'm just going to commit to one lane instead of trying to talk to one or the other i'm just going to push and try and get an answer in regards to this the demonic the evil because i feel like i'm probably the only one in, in the group that'll push that hard to get those answers yeah. and i did that and i basically challenged and said that you know, people are coming here and you prey on their weakness. But I stated that I'm, I'm a fairly happy person. I'm here doing something I love with people I love, people I care about, I'm traveling, right? I'm, I'm expressing that I'm a happy person. I'm not like the typical person that's coming here. So if you really want to demonstrate your power, your ability, show me, like put some kind of darkness in me. And when I said that, the only thing I thought about was like, maybe they would plant an image in, in my head of my dogs dying or you guys getting hurt or something mm -hmm. like that. And then no bullshit. 20 seconds later, I turn and I, I see what looks like a head and a full blown body. And I see someone laying like this. And I, and I see it and I can move the light and I can physically see it's not moving. It's not a shadow. 
and then I turn left and I see ribbon that's not mine on the tree. Really? Yes. I see a string of cut ribbon that is literally not mine, not it, that is already on the tree. And I put two and two together yeah. and go, oh, oh and I'm, I went pretty far in. Yeah. And I see the ribbon and I see that and I, and that's when I yelled. Cause I was like, it's two and two. It's like, it, yeah. dude, everything on my life, I saw the person there. And then, and then that's kind of when I, I like froze and I was in my head, I'm like, okay, that was, yeah, that's the only way you can put any form of fear or sadness or darkness in me. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm actually afraid of. And then I, and then I realized, well, I have to mark where this person right. is so we can call right. and report. And then I remembered I had all my flashlights died. And then I remembered I had this guy uh -huh. and I put this guy on and I turned the light on. Nothing's there. Not there at all. Nothing's there. Like, I walk up to it and I don't, no logs, no rocks, nothing at all that would create that shape, that dark, nothing is there at all. Dude, like, it's like, it would look like as plain as this. Yeah. Do you feel like a camera might have caught it? I, I think it's in my fucking head. I think it's purely in my head because like, I, I literally challenged it and was like, give me some form of darkness. Like, you can do this. I asked for that. And you said the only thing that you would be afraid of here exactly. is finding and I, a corpse. Somebody. And that wasn't even in, as a possibility when I said that. I literally in my head was like, oh, friends, like images right. of car accidents, like funeral, like that's what I thought was gonna, it, worst case scenario, and then that. And then I walk up to it and it's not there. And that is like directly after I, I challenged it. Did you mark it? Yeah. I marked it and I went further. I went further past it to see like, was there more there was of the ribbon, more, but yeah. there was only ribbon right there. And it was like the first time I went off the clear path. Was there still ribbon? Like, was the ribbon still there too or no? The ribbon's there. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the, so the ribbon's yeah, still there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ribbon is, it's a real thing that's there. That's why I'm like two and two is fucking insane because it's not like, it's not like I imagine that and the ribbon, no, the ribbon is, all, it all came together. yeah, it's, it's like saran wrap. It's like clear, like cling wrap around the tree. It's like, it's a real thing that's there. So, that was also probably a real thing that was there that you saw. That's that's what I'm thinking is like, or they planted it or it was there. Yeah. And then like, as I'm turning around leaving, I almost threw up in my mouth. And then uh, as we got about 20 feet away from you, the last thing I hear is uh, this won't stop till you're dead. Ugh. And then it turns off. Wow. Oh. Oh my, oh my God, 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 oh my God. Telling us that Corbin or Corbin's doppelganger is gonna stab one of us with a knife tonight. Could you like... Oh my Holy sh... Elton, we just have this anticipation. The deeper we go, the closer we're getting to what he saw. The 100th story, the 100th candle. According to legend, it's supposed to rip open a portal right where we're standing and suck us into the core of hell. I just heard I'm not gonna stop to your bed. What if they're not crawling out, they're crawling in? Yeah, what if this is actually like an escape and that's what you're seeing? Portals aren't one direction. What's interesting about the fire is not like a direction with the wind. It's all pushing to the center. And they're all in a circle. Oh my God. Positive or negative spirit? I am Akuma. I am Akuma, A-K-U-M-A. It's a camera that just turned itself off. Something's ran through these trees. Standing behind you. Oh my god. Get out right now. The heck? What? Something just went from here. Ah! Oh my god. What did I hear? I have never seen anything like this before. One big long one. If he's just gonna go crazy and take us all out. I want a rebuttal to that. Okay. And that was no rebuttal, everyone.